Hi everybody, this is Kefren. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your FPS in Ark Survival Evolve. Uh, this is a brand new guide uh, that I just did an update uh, two years ago. So I will show you what to do. First of all, uh, you need to make sure that uh, you set a launch option in this game. So you right click on the game, properties, set launch option, and you will need to write I use all available core. So this, those uh, comments, it's to make sure that um, you use uh, all the resources of your computer when you play the game. SM4 to change the shader. And the last one is D3, D10 uh, to change for DirectX 10. Um, and you press OK. After that, we will go inside of the game uh, to change all the setting that you will need to change to optimize your FPS. And at the end, we will go to the config file because you can change more setting in it. Uh, really important, don't put the command right now. Uh, just test the in-game setting and the config file and use the, the comment at the end because if you're using something like DirectX 10, you will see that your uh, image quality slash graphic will decrease a lot. So now inside of the game, a lot of different parameters that you can change. Let's start with the resolution. For me, I'm playing full HD for sure after all the setting. If you change everything and you're still getting 35 FPS, something like that, you will need to lower your, uh, your uh, resolution to have like something like uh, 720p or something like that. Uh, window mode, make sure that you're playing full screen. I saw um, an improvement if I compare with window and uh, the borderless and the window mode. Uh, I'm getting like two or three FPS more, so make sure that you're playing this. Resolution scale, for sure, it will help you a lot. Um, it's weird, the game by default, it, it, it put my uh, resolution scale at 83. Uh, me, I'm playing at 100. I want to make sure that I have the same resolution scale than my uh, resolution. But uh, you can lower this and you will gain a lot of FPS. But don't go too lower because for sure uh, your image quality will decrease a lot. World type buffer. I didn't see a big improvement here. If you have like an integrated video card or a laptop, for sure don't go with high. Go with medium. But it's not a big deal. View distance is a big deal. I'm playing at medium. Uh, this is like when you render in front of you. More you render, more it takes resources. So don't go too crazy with this one. Go with medium. Anti-aliasing too, uh, big impact, three to four uh, percent uh, increase for each bracket. So go with medium. At low, I feel like the game, the image quality decreased too much. So just go with medium, and you will be fine. Post-processing, one to two percent for each bracket. So still, you can get a nice increase going with medium and low. But um, yeah, it's not a big impact. The one that give a huge impact is general shadows and terrain shadows. This one is pretty crazy. If I go epic to low for both of them, I'm getting like 30 to 35% increase uh, in my FPS. So those two, make sure that you're putting this those one at low. Texture, I'm playing at epic. Texture depend on your VRAM. So if you have like four gig and more, go with epic. Three gig, go with high and two gig with medium and less than two gig, you have to go with low. Uh, sc sky quality, you can gain a nice chunk of FPS by changing this one. Just put it at one quarter of the um, slider and uh, you will have a nice increase with the sky quality. Same thing with uh, ground clutter density and ground uh, clutter distance. Even distance, you can go a little bit lower. But the, those one, you can gain a nice chunk of FPS, 10 to 12% if you go like at one quarter like that. So uh, pretty uh, a nice descent of FPS. Nice descent. Sorry. <laughs> nice amount of FPS. Mesh level of detail, uh, again, a little bit less than ground clutter, but still you can get a couple of FPS here with the slider, so 5 to 6%. So uh, just do your test and uh, make sure that you're getting your 60 if you want to uh, play at 60. Or if you want more, you can even go higher. For the rest, all those other options, uncheck everything. I'm getting, first of all, film grain is kind of pain in the ass. I don't like this effect. Same thing with motion blur. Uh, ambient occlusion here, you will see the distant fill ambient occlusion is crazy. When you activate it, I'm like, I'm losing 25 FPS. So make sure that everything else is unchecked. I'm still keeping the light bloom and the light shaft. Uh, not a big impact for me. Uh, the bloom for sure, you can like remove it if you have like uh, an integrated video card. For, uh, for sure, you will probably have some issue with the lighting but uh, not a huge impact like uh, shadows in this game. So that's about it in the inside of the game. Let's go to the config file. So now let's go to the config file. Uh, to find the config file in this game, you need to go where you install the game. So Steam library, Steam app, common, arc, 
shooter game, save, config, and Windows No Editor. You will need to open the game user setting like this. And as you can see, all the graphic parameter that you change inside of the game will be there. Uh, the two things that you will need to change is the true sky effect quality. Uh, even if you change it in the game, uh, you need to put one over here. And ground clutter quality, same thing, put one over there. Make sure that you save this. Close the config file, right click on game user setting, properties, and click read only. You need to block the file uh, because the game sometimes will have a patch or do an update, whatever. And sometimes it can uh, override this, the setting that you change in the config file. So this step is really important. So that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, post me your CPU, your RAM, and your GPU in the YouTube comment section. I will try to help you the best that I can. Ask me a question for sure. And don't forget to sub to the channel. Peace.